congratulations on submitting your feature film to the 93rd annual or 93rd Academy Awards, The Blizzard of Souls, which I really like the title. And I watched the film and it's it's very tragic and and it's just I watched it over, actually watched it twice. So and oh. It's it's heart wrenching. It's emotional. It's it's. Uh, but please tell us the process in in doing the film. Like how long did it take and and etc. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate so much. This is the reason why to make films <laughs> to to see to hear such words and hear that you saw it twice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, it took six already now it's more than seven years of our lives uh, to make this movie and uh, it is the debut movie for me for uh, Val the cinematographer of course for Otto only Lolita was the strong sh shoulder next to us and uh, uh, the process what we we were filming the it was as the, as the story is very personal story of this young boy, then we of course concentrated very much about Otto's character, Arctox. We, we tried in the beginning to find this young man who could actually do it. And of course there are no professional actors in Latvia at that age. And there was more than 1,300 boys who came to audition. One of them was Otto. And we found this, his, this stubborn guy from classroom with only five people but who wanted to become historian or border patrol and then we managed all this uh, we planned all the shooting in the um, yeah chronologically yeah so that uh, so that Otto can mature during the shooting so that we can have different seasons to show that how how time is changing so we had to like the shooting period was quite long <laughs> was quite years uh, and and they each it took like a small episode so even the last shooting was half a year because before the premiere. So that was the process how we were working for 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 Arctox to become the guy who is young, and I would say in his face naive. <laughs> <laughs> to the moment when he he looks like this young strong guy who somebody can actually follow him or listen. Yeah, to. I mean you see the see it through the lens of a young boy. And it's, he loves his mother and, and I love the part, um, it stirs emotion. Um, he keeps his mother's ring and then he gives it to his, his love and you see him growing up and it's, it's brilliant. And like, what has the feedback been like? Uh, the feedback? Yes, like, you know, you have, you, it was played in, um, uh, it's been groundbreaking, right? So tell us, like, what's the feedback been like, you know? Um, you yeah, know, it's, it's, it was to say true, just amazing, because, uh, of course, in, in, in Latvia, like in other places, people are going less and less to cinemas, but, uh, but suddenly when this film was released, uh, people just somehow were telling each other and started to come to this film and uh, we broke all the domestic records, which were almost unbreakable because the Titanic and Avatar with, with Miracle 3D was, <laughs> were, were the leaders for many, many years. And, uh, but somehow, yeah, people, uh, pe people came and, uh, and, uh, and, and then later when we saw that, of course, COVID stopped so many things, but that so many countries in the world wanted to tell also this, this private, this personal story, it it was it, it was it, it was amazing because of course for us as a filmmakers it's and at least for me it's it's very important to if we if we take idea which which I believe uh, that it's needed to be made in film that it's also mm -hmm. very important that people have a chance to see. I mean, it's based on true events, right? World War One, and it's based on the novel by um, forget Alexander Grins. Green. Is that Green. yeah? yeah. Yeah, and, uh, he's he's he was rifleman himself, and that's why it's so deep, uh, detailed. And uh, uh, and he, he was in trenches when he was written writing this, and the novel was then later for, for, forbidden. As uh, but so his story was never really told, and so we have this chance mm -hmm. to do it. And and the, the guy who can write in such detail and for perspective of the soldier, but in the same time be so poetic that even to have this title of Blizzard of Souls, which is direct translation uh, for, for his original book is, uh, 
Yeah, I am. That tour is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very close to the book, right? And and you know, tell us about. I mean, it's very cold. <laughs> How did you manage filming in the cold? Because <laughs> I'm I'm you know I. I grew up in the cold, but tell us like the filming with the uniforms. It just doesn't seem a lot of clothing. <laughs> yeah, this I think Otto will tell the most, but that is real cold. Yeah, this is real cold that he's dealing with. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell the, the, yeah, Otto, tell, tell us. I can just, yeah, okay, tell, Otto, tell, tell the story. Hello, okay, Otto. Um, Hi. About the cold? Yes. Hi. Hi. Well, about the cold. Yeah. The cold was um, while making the movie. It was that was real cold. Actually, um, right now for some few years in Latvia we have very very weak uh, winters. Uh, some winters we don't have snow. It's just snowing for I don't know like one two weeks in whole three months, and that's it. But that specific winter when we were filming, that was very cold. It was, um, I don't know, maybe minus uh, 20. I don't know exactly how, but uh, how many, but um, it was really, really cold. And um, and then, then personally for me, everything worsened when um, I did not eat uh, right. Um, I did not drink water much as uh, I should when I'm cold because my body is already using uh, energy to heat uh, heat up. I also have to do some physical activities and so on. And we are filming at night, not day, but night, which means a day uh, I should sleep. So it was it was very hard and and after like three or four days I actually passed out on a filming field. Wow. Tell us about, um, you know, your favorite part of the film. Like what did you enjoy most or was it everything? It's very hard to tell what is my favorite part. I, um, I guess the most favorite part is um, where Arthur is uh, marching with his new friends, his new comrades uh, on the streets of Riga and they are singing Dios Sveti Latiu, which is um, mm. Latvia's uh, national anthem. That's a uh, very inspirational and very, very strong, uh, both when we were filming and also when I was seeing it on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. And would you want to do more acting in the future? Previously, when the movie came out, I said that I will not do acting um, <laughs> because I, 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 I don't really want to do acting um, because, uh, well, one thing you have to know about Latvia is that when you are an actor, you have to play both in uh, movies, TV series and in, and in theater. Um, I don't like theater. I like watching it, but I don't like uh, playing it, by playing in it because you are playing your role. You are literally acting. You in movie. You are living your role, but there's also from that point that um, this movie was uh, about close things to my heart. It's uh, history. It's uh, war. It's Latvian patriot patriotism. Um, for example, if uh, I would um, become the main actor in some comedy or or some thriller. I probably will not would not enjoy uh, filming in there. So it really depends. If the movie is about some uh, thing that is close to my heart or heart, or I'm playing the role that is close to my heart, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Question for everyone, um, what was it like working together? I mean, you've worked so, you know, long hours and, and how, how was it for everyone? Well, I'm, a, I'm the composer, so I actually oh. only worked primarily with, uh, at first with Zinters, the director and the editor, Gattis Belgrodovs, and then my team here in Los Angeles, um, uh, an orchestrator, Larry Wrench, and uh, my music recordist, Mark Matson, who's my husband. Um, but working with uh, with Zinters was a profoundly uh, 
moving experience as we were developing a trust and mm -hmm. developing a dialogue for me to be able to peer into how he saw the film and he had not put a temp score. Oftentimes uh, edit uh, editors and directors will add a, a temporary music score to give the composer an idea of what they're looking for. So I had a blank canvas. I just, I was reacting to the film and then collaborating with Zinthers to find the right tone. So it was, it was a deeply uh, moving and, and at times, I, I've, I've said this before, frustrating, exhilarating, uh, invigorating, um, extremely emotional experience. And so I figured if I'm experiencing all those emotions, those are also similar emotions that are being experienced by our character in the film. So as I was looking for my musical answers, I think that um, by finding them, maybe I was finding the correct tone for the film. So it was it was wonderful. And um, I had not met Otto until the, the, the screening. So for me, all the actors are like, but I've been living with you for so long on my little <laughs> screen. And I was just, I was like a teenage girl. Like, oh, there's that actor and there's that actor. And, and, uh, and then working with Valdis cinematography. I mean, I get goosebumps. I mean, when a composer sees this incredible, like these yeah. shots, like in the fog or, yeah. or just the, the ocean shots, the way that he captured those moments uh, mm -hmm. were, we're just breathtaking and so f f there are these moments where it's like oh oh that I could, this is a great m moment for music because it's just so incredible expansive and, and and beautiful but through the eyes of our main character so even though some of us don't work with all the big group when we are actually working on the project we feel like we're right in right in the trenches with everyone so and then when to actually go to riga and record with a hundred artists, uh, wonderful symphony orchestra players and work with the state choir Latvia was um, a, a dream come true. So thank you for that. It's wonderful. I mean, I, I mean, it all came together. It's, uh, it takes more than, you know, the music, the cinematography, and it's just breathtaking. And also it's, it's haunting. I feel at the beginning, you feel when it's, it's just like, it captures you, it just grabs you, um, you know, if I may say, and it, it's just, I've seen it twice, as I said, and, and I want to congratulate you all. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Just one thing for, I, I wanted to add to this, uh, your first question in, uh, about the cold, because uh, what was, yeah. I think, very important <laughs> that, uh, uh, that of course it was cold <laughs> and Otto mm -hmm. is of course always being saying that it's nothing special even if he had this snow blower in his face but uh, the, it was really really cold but the thing what we did that many shooting places including those winter shots are in the real places where it happened and mm. this is the place where really the fights happened, where really those soldiers were lying on the ground. And, and the moments when we felt that we are cold, it felt such a nonsense because you only in that moment started to realize what they went through, yes. that this is, those are real events and that they had no chance to go to fireplace or drink some tea or do like, and <laughs> those moments were actually those where we started to realize that it's so hard to even imagine what was it and how much we should actually appreciate where we are now and uh, really appreciate this time and never allow somebody to choose violence as a solution to the problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. And is there anyone else like to comment? Valdi? Yes, or add, <laughs> or... Well, I'm really excited. I, I, I'm really um, excited for you. Congratulations again. And if people want more information, where can they go? The main thing is that, that this virtual screening starting in USA from 8th of January. And I think uh, Hild and Emily will, will, will know the specific Thank things. You. But uh, yeah, really, let's, let's hope that they that somebody will give the chance to the film and will watch it because uh, you know for debut filmmakers uh, from Latvia it's not so easy to get noticed but uh, really happy about uh, how you yeah well congratulations wonderful